Welcome to Frontier Regional School High School Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. Today, it's the Frontier Red Hawks playing host to the Greenfield Green Wave. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins, along with Doug Haneski, joining me alongside, and along with Kevin Murphy and Alec Geckel, as uh, the Red Hawks, Doug, have a tall order ahead of them taking on the high-powered Green Wave of Greenfield. Yeah, they do. Uh, yesterday, Greenfield pitcher Olivia Joy actually just threw a no-hitter. Maybe be even a perfect game against Athol. So they got a tall task at the plate today. That was a 12-0 run shortened win for Greenfield. And so Joy has thrown six hitless innings, and she'd love to make it six or seven more against the Red Hawks, who come into this game uh, still very much uh, top the uh, Franklin County League. They're 11-7 overall, 7-4 in the FCL. Frontier comes in, Greenfield comes in rather, 15-10, 10-1 in the FCL. And uh, they are... Uh, a powerhouse team. Both these teams, I think, go into the postseason, and uh, we'll see what happens today as the Hawks would like nothing better than to send Greenfield home with their second loss of the season. Leadoff hitter for the Green Wave is Raquel Provost, the left fielder. Pitching for the Red Hawks today is Lauren McLeod, wearing the number 12 as her teammates come out for a little pregame talk. Again, this is, these games are always big, especially going into the postseason. You want to lock in as high a seed as possible. Greenfield is definitely going to be a, probably a top seed or at least among the top seeds in their uh, respective division. Yeah, I think it's always good when you can uh, get rolling hot into tournament, get a couple wins under your belt, and then play with confidence getting into the postseason. All right, here we go. Provost digs in. McDonald at the mound. First pitch is low. Actually, it hit her. It hit Provost on the leg, so Provost will get a base on balls on the first pitch of the game. Let's see if McDonald can rebound here on this next batter. And the next batter will be Audrey Bresciano for Greenfield. She is the third sacker. Can't say third baseman in girls' softball. I think, but let's just say third base woman. Audrey's having a good year. Vote for 19 on the year. And she drops down a bunt, which rolls foul, so a little bit of a quick uh, test on there. Trying to use that speed. Of course, Provost was off with that pitch. Good speed down the line. The, guy, the woman to look out for is the next batter, I think, for Greenfield, Sam Smith. She's been tearing the cover off the ball all season, and she is one of the real bright spots for this Green Wave offense. And again, the bunt dropped down, and he threw to first. So Bresciano is retired. Provost advances to second, and that'll bring up Big Sam Smith. Quite a basketball player and another year in this program, and she is a shortstop and a real, real good hitter. So Greenfield threatening here, top of the first. Now look what Greenfield did there, laying down the bunt to get your number three hitter with a runner in scoring position with less than two outs. And Smith ropes one down the left field line, first pitch swinging. It's going to be a single, and that will advance Provost to third. So runners at the corners, one out. So right now the wave threatening in the first. Hopefully Frontier can get a ground ball up the middle here in turn two. So two ducks on the pond for the cleanup hitter, Kelsey Richardson, who's playing first for the wave. McDonald deals and pop up. And it'll be taken. Oh, they dry, it drops in. And they get the force play at second, but that will allow Provost to score. I think that might have been a, a ball just in the sun there. Yeah, or maybe even a miscommunication, but it's definitely bright out here, so that could be a factor as well. I think they probably would score that at an E4, but we'll see what the, they put up there. But it doesn't matter. Richardson goes to first. Provost scores, and Smith is forced out at second. So two gone, and the batter is Lizzie Howland, the catcher for the Green Wave. And that's ball one outside. That was one of the first at-bats. Greenfields took the first pitch. It looks like <laughs> no. they've been aggressive here. Yeah, currently. they've been first pitch swing. Absolutely right. That's the first opportunity, I think, for the catcher for Frontier to be able to actually catch the ball. Jarvis. 2-0. Howland, again, another member of that Great Greenfield basketball team from this winter. Looks like it's a uh, three hole, uh, three zero here. Maybe she gets the green light. Yeah, it looks like uh, McDonald's trying to paint the corners and it's not working for her. Not getting the calls today. 
And that's going to be four straight pitches and a walk. So that will advance Richardson to second. And Allen's the board with a base on balls. So two on for Kirsten Ward, center fielder for Greenfield. And that's strike one. That's, I believe, the first strike we've seen in this game thrown by McDonald right down the middle. You want to make sure you've got a head on these Greenfield hitters. Absolutely. And that time, Ward was way ahead of it. A little change up there by McDonald. So 0-2. So Lauren could shut down a potentially big inning here with one more strike. And that was inside. That's a good two-strike pitch, though. Yeah, brushed off the play a little bit. One and two to Ward. Runners at first and second for the Wave, who lead one nothing. That one's high ball to it, even as a count. And that's strike three, looking. We played a half an inning. It's Greenfield 1, Frontier coming up. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Frontier gets out of that first inning with only uh, one run scored by the high-powered Green Wave offense, Doug. And now we get a look at Olivia Joy, who, as we mentioned, had an epic performance against Athol the other day. And she is one of the premier pitchers in this league, a, f a real fireballer. She can really fling it when she needs to, and she's going to be a big part of Greenfield's success down the line in the playoffs. I would say so. Coming in the game, she already is closing in on 160 strikeouts, which is pretty big numbers for this time of year. So let's see if uh, Frontier can get some balls in play and uh, make Greenfield's defense work for it. Well, that's an amazing number when you think about it. Even in terms of a Major League Baseball level, I mean, 160 strikeouts in a season is, is pretty unheard of. She's been so dominant, too. I'm sure Greenfield's had some games that haven't even gone the full seven, so that makes the number even more impressive. Exactly. And, of course, that last game against Athol ended in the sixth inning with a mercy rule, 12 nothing thrashing. So let's see what happens. Let's see what the Red Hawks can do. Nat Dankovic is, is first up, the center fielder. And so Nat getting some instruction from the coach. I want to see how frontier, how aggressive they are in attacking Joy from the beginning if they take some pitches here. Pitch from Joy, swung on a missed strike one. That had some deep press behind that one. <laughs> yes, it did. It definitely the pop of a mid. You can hear it all the way over here. We're stationed just behind the fence on the third baseline. And you can hear it with that authority. And that one I think she went a little high on. Strike two, Dinkovich, and now she's going to go back and think it over. When you see a pitcher with that kind of velocity, you know, it's tough to get a read on where that ball's going. That one was very much high and outside. Yeah, I think you got to give yourself the best chance to hit it by backing up in the batter's box and choking up a little bit, get the bat through the zone quicker. That one goes all the way to the backstop, as that one was way up there. One and two is the count. Outside, two and two. She's definitely uh, making a uh, joy work here in the first at bat. That's what you want to see. So people, uh, players in the dugout can uh, get a look, which she's got today. Anytime you can check up that pitch count, it makes it that much tougher for her to last in the late innings. Now the count goes full, three and two. So after two quick strikes, Dankowitz says, run the count full. Yeah, she's really battled back here in this at bat. Payoff pitch coming. Round ball to third, scooped up and thrown to first by Bresciano, and one out. Good play by Audrey, and that will bring up Kenzie Patterson, the left fielder for the Red Hawks. She's having a really good year at the plate, 22 for 39 on the year. That's well over 500. And absolutely, and that's the, kind of, that's the kind of numbers you want from your number two hitter. Joy winds and deals. Patterson fouls it off, nearly nails a car. That's why I'm glad I parked over there. Me as well. That just, is that might have been Murphy's car that almost got hit. I don't know if that was your car or not. Okay. 0-1. <laughs> oh 
High, evens the count at one and one. Patterson a little bit short. That'd be a tough strike zone, I would think, for someone with diminutive height. Yeah, early on in this game, the Red Hawks have been making Joy work really hard. So, Let's see if that can pay off later down the road. Ball two. It's two and one. The count to Kenzie Patterson. That one is a swing and a miss and a real high fastball. I think Kenzie would probably want to th rethink that one if she could. Yeah, I agree on that. Two strikes on the left fielder. That one is another really high pitch. A little bit higher even than the last one. I think uh, Coach Dean must have told his players before the game to be patient because both first two batters, the count's gone full. And strike three swinging. That was a nice pitch right down the middle. Two gone, and that brings up Charlotte Dulette, the third baseman for Frontier. She's got some good power. She leads the team in uh, home runs just as a freshman. Dulette digging in. Joy's first pitch, high ball one. Just inside. I think that's showing uh, respect for her because she's not giving anything to hit early on in this count. Right. Joy gets the signal. Rocks and fires. High ball three. Three and oh. I wonder if, I wonder if Dillette will have a swing away here, given the opportunity. You know, she's got the most uh, home runs on the team. It seems like it's going to be a pitcher's duel today. I'd give it to her. All four. So, Dillette is aboard on the base on balls. And that brings up the catcher, Kelly Jarvis. So two outs and an opportunity here if Jarvis can get a hold of one to possibly tie this game. Yeah, I think the Red Hawks here would really enjoy a nice little two-out rally. Joy rocks and deals. Strike right on the outside corner. Good pitch. A little bit high, but at the letters. Nothing in one. Strike two as she was a little bit behind that one. It was almost in the same spot. It's a good pitch. Ball one. Count one and two again. You let it first base, courtesy of the four pitch base on balls. Another high one. Strike three, swing and high. So the Hawks strand one runner after one. Three field one, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We move to the top of the second inning. Greenfield with a one nothing lead. And the batter is going to be Reagan Hickey, the second base woman for the Wave. Reagan has done time by... Uh, at, at leadoff this season, but she's batting down uh, down in the order in the seventh hole. I think that uh, shows uh, Greenfield's depth that she batted lead off early in the year and now she's down in the seventh hole, but I think she can put some damage into the ball. Greenfield had an epic win over Turner's Falls. That Turner's Falls under the lights, and he, Hickey was the leadoff hitter in that one. So Reagan stepping in, facing Laura McDonald. And that one's in the dirt, but Hickey took a cut at it, so strike one. 
It's funny, you know, we Joy seems like she's up in the strike zone in this game. It, it seems like Laura McDonald's a little bit low in the strike zone, so. Yeah, I think uh, McDonald's trying to work the ball down, get some ground balls, use her defense. I think Joy's trying to pump it by these Red Hawk hitters and get some more strikeouts. Count even at one and one. And that one is high, two and one. So just when I tell you, when I say she's going low, she goes out. Reagan Hickey, another one of those great three-sport athletes at Greenfield Field Hockey, basketball, great basketball player, and, of course, pretty good softball player. Three and one count now. And that's going to be ball four. So Hickey's the board with a walk, and she will be a threat to steal. She's got good speed. Yeah, the Red Hawk defense will really have to pay attention to her as she's now on the base path. And that is going to bring up Heather Caitlin. Heather Caitlin is the designated player for the wave. Ball outside. I wonder if uh, she may be getting the bunt sign towards the bottom of the order to try to play some small ball to get Hickey towards second. Well, I think every run's going to count in this game. That ball was low, 2-0. Good crowd here for uh, a uh, beautiful afternoon. Ground ball is second, and they'll make the play to first. Does Crocker, and that will advance Hickey to second, so four to three. And Reagan is in scoring position, and that will bring up the right fielder, Hannah Marhefka. One out, Hickey is at second, and Marhefka. At the plate. Fouls the first pitch back, 0 and 1. High ball, 1. Even the count at 1 and 1. Foul back, one and two. Again, one out. Hickey is at second. Red Hawks would love a strikeout right here. And there you go. There's your strikeout. Hefka is down swing, and that makes it two outs. And that is going to bring up Provo scored. Greenfield's only run, and she was hit by a pitch to get on base. Her first time up. Strike one. So McDonald painted the corner on that one, and Provost was not even close. Line drive on left field line, and it's going to be a fair ball. Hickey is going to score, and it's going to be a double for Provost and an RBI, and that makes it 2 nothing. The ball was ripped down the left field line. It just, just caught the inside of the line, too. So, Provost is on second, and that brings up Bresciano, who sacrificed, sacrificed Bunnett, actually. Was thrown out at first, her first time up. So, 2 nothing wave, top of the second. It looked like Provost got all of that, that pitch. The ball was hit hard. Strike one to Bresciano. Strike two. She was way out in front of that one. Nothing in two. Two outs. Ooh, just just outside, just inside rather. That was a good pitch. Yeah, that was close, no doubt about it. And foul back. Ooh, ooh, that time it grazed one of the cars. Not, not Murphy's car. Murphy's car is still intact. 
That was like a pretty new, new Nissan that got glazed. Foul back again. So Bresciano fighting him off. Strike three. So Bresciano is down swinging, and one runner is stranded. But Green Wave get another one at the end of one and a half. It's Greenfield 2, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball, Frontier Community Access Television. So it's going to be Harper, Walker, and Crocker, the three up for the Red Hawks going into the bottom of the second inning. They trail Greenfield 2 0, courtesy of the Provost double, which scored Hickey in that last half inning. Red Hawks would uh, like to put some more pressure on Joy here in the second. They started to in the first, and they can build off that. They're in hopes of a big inning here. Harper gets a look from the coach. Strike one. As, uh, that, was, that was just a lot of mustard on it. Harper just could not come close to getting a bat around on it. Oh, and one to Ava. Joy rocks and fires. Strike two. So it looks like Olivia Joy is starting to feel her uh, her groove here. Yeah, she's really starting to throw some heat in there. The start of the second inning. Nothing in two. That one was high. Harper checked at it, but let it go. One and two. Yeah, I think uh, Joy was trying to see if she would chase outside the zone, but Harper had a good eye to lay off that. Outside and high again. And even the count at two balls and two strikes. Strike three. So Harper goes down on strikes. That's the third strikeout for Olivia Joy. And that brings up the DH, Ariana Walker. Ariana having a great year at the plate, 8 for 11 coming into today. High ball one. High ball two, 2-0 two oh. to Walker. Strike at the knees. That was a good pitch. It was a real good pitch. And again, that's one of those pitches you lay off because you think it might be too low, but you just, just nipped her at the knees. Especially 2-0, oh, make a throw a strike. There's no need to offer at that. Foul back. That evens the count at two and two. On deck, the second baseman, Maddie Crocker. And if she gets on, Lauren McDonald, the pitcher. Strike three. As Walker goes down swinging, that's the second consecutive strikeout for Joy and the fourth in six batters. Joy was down there uh, behind 2-0, and and she came back and threw three straight strikes to strike her out. That was good pitching there. Maddie Crocker now at the plate, playing second today. Strike one. Well, I think that Joy may have had some control problems in that first inning, Doug, but, you know, those high and outside pitches, but she really has settled in here. Yeah, she's done a good job of maintaining her uh, control and throwing strikes. Foul. That one caught a piece of the ump. 0-2 to Maddie Crocker. So far, no hits for the Red Hawks. It's eight consecutive. If she makes it through here, no hit innings for Olivia Joy. That's impressive numbers right there, Chris. 1-2. To Ariana. Two and two, just outside. 
to try to make her chase, but Crockett doesn't want it. And ground ball to third. Doubled up for the first, and the side is retired. So the Hawks go in order. And after two, Springfield two, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball, Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Doug Haneski, Alec Gecko, and the executive producer of Frontier High School Sports, Kevin Murphy. We're here at Frontier today as the Red Hawks trail the Greenfield Wave by a count of 2 nothing. Going into the top of the third, it's going to be Samantha Smith, Richardson, and Howland. The three up to face Lauren McDonald, who's pitched well, but uh, not necessarily as well as, uh, as Olivia Joy, who has been monstrous. Two ground outs, a walk, and four Ks. It's a pretty impressive first couple innings for Olivia. Yeah, going back to that last inning, getting the number two hole hitter out was uh, very key, as now uh, Smith, their three hole hitter, will come up with the bases empty. Smith singled her first time up, advanced as far as second base. Strike one to Sam. That was a good pitch to start Smith off. Grab all to third. And throw to first. And I think she beat it out. Wow, she really got down the line there quickly because... Well, I told you, lots of speed on this team, and that's the second consecutive single, this time an infield single for Samantha Smith. So one on for Richardson, who also singled. Actually, she reached on an error. And she poked that one to left field, and it's gone. That was hit well. <laughs> yeah, it was a, I guess it was a two-run homer for Richardson. Kelsey Richardson, the, the first baseman. And just like that, it is four-zip. That's uh, Richardson's third home run on the year right there. And that makes it four-nothing. And there is some action in the frontier bullpen as... Looks like Maddie Fifield is up there throwing in the back. Well, that clears the bases and brings up Lizzie Howland, the catcher who reached on a walk her first time up. Well, she tattooed that one. I got out of here in a hurry. Yeah, that ball was hit deep, and as soon as it hit left the bat, you had a feeling that could go out. Just inside on Howland. Howland seems like a very patient hitter up there. Base hit down the left field line. Howland will turn the corner. The throw comes in, and she's going to try to advance on the throw, and she's going to get there. So that's going to be a single and a one base error for Howland. That puts her on at second. And that brings up Kirsten Ward, the center fielder. So right now, things starting to unravel a bit for the Red Hawks and Lauren McDonald. Yeah, the Red Hawks, uh, if they can get out of this, just take the sure out, and then they can uh, go ahead and get them back. That's Strike to one to Ward. In front of that one a little bit. Heads up play there by Howland to advance and get that next base after the errant throw from left field. Yeah, it definitely was. That's why you always take the turn, just in case. High ball one, that evens the count. Just on the inside corner, Ward can't believe it. That looked like it was pretty inside. Yeah, she did not like that call whatsoever. <laughs> one and two to Kirsten. Kirsten's never been afraid to say what she thinks. Now what? I think she just got warned. Yeah, I think she said something to the umpire, and I don't think the umpire liked that too much. Two and two, the count. Strike three as War was out in front of that one. So that's a big strikeout for McDonald. It's one out, and I'll bring up Reagan Hickey, second baseman. 
that he reached on a walk and scored for a first time up. Ball outside. I want to, I want to know, rather. Again, Howland is at second base. Fly ball to left. Actually left center. And pulled in for the out. Howland thought about going to third there after tagging up, but she decided uh, not to, and uh, so she stays at second. So F8, and that brings up the designated player, Heather Caitlin. Strike one to Caitlin. Nice play in the outfield there by Denkovic to pull that in. Yeah, now the Red Sox got uh, two outs, so if they can just get one more and they go up and hit. That's a shot down the left field line. That's going to go up to the wall. Howland is going to score. And in the second is Caitlin with a two-out double. That was a nice piece of hitting inside. Just turned on it and hit it out to left field. And that makes it 5 nothing, Greenfield. And that will bring up Marhefka. Struck out her first time up. Low ball one. So 5-0 for the Wave. For those of you keeping the score at home, that's 17 straight runs that they have scored in two games. Ball two, low. To the Wave, it looks like it's peaking just at the right time. Yeah, we talked about Joy and Greenfield's pitching, but their hitting's been uh, on as of late as well. High for the ball. McDonald looks a little frustrated right now, but she's going up against a powerhouse lineup for the Green Wave. Strike low. Again, Caitlin is at second, courtesy of the double off the wall. Two-run homer by Richardson. Round ball to second. Gobbled up, been thrown to first by Crocker, and that retires the side. But the Wave get three, including a home run at the end of two and a half. Greenfield five. Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So the Red Hawks look to do something here offensively. They have been so far stymied by Olivia Joy in the Greenfield Green Wave. And again, if this, this game goes to a 10-run deficit, I believe the Mercy Rule is in effect. So it will be shortened if it goes that far. But the Hawks would duly love to put some points on the board or put some runs on the board. And McDonald, the pitcher, can help her cause right here. Yeah, you would uh, love to help your cause here if you're McDonald. Your uh, team needs to start putting some runs on the board and uh, hopefully deep rattle uh, Joy's confidence a little bit. And maybe if you get her confidence a little low, you can start pouring on some. No evidence of a confidence problem at this point. She's been dealing. Again, f uh, four strikeouts in this game already. So Laura McDonald digs in for the Hawks. Joy rocks and fires, high ball one. Strike one. That one was right at the letters. Just when you think uh, Joy start, may start to be off her game a little bit, she comes back and just fires strikes right in there. One and one. So McDonald's showing bunt. I like that decision to try to attempt to bunt there, put some pressure on Greenfield's defense as most of their outs have came via the strikeout here right. today. That's high. So McDonald waiting her out here. High and outside. That runs the count full. Yeah, good patience here from McDonald at the plate. And strike three. 
Strikeout number five for Olivia Joy. That brings up the right fielder, Emma Wesolowski. He's a lefty. Looking almost like a swinging bunt. Yeah, it looks like she's trying to slap it and just beat out the throw to first and now take an infield single. That is strike one to Wazilowski. And again, a little slap it, but that uh, is a foul ball. That runs the count to 0-2. Again, takes a slap at it, and it fouls off. So it's pretty obvious what she's trying to do here. She's trying to go slap opposite field. Smith has actually adjusted and moved over a little bit in the hole. Yeah, it looks like uh, Greenfield's brought the corners in a little bit, too. And strike three. Strikeout number six for Olivia Joy, and that brings up the top of the order. Denkowitz, who grounded out to third base her first time up. Hopefully, as the Red Hawks have uh, gone through the order, they've seen Joy now and make some adjustments there in the dugout to maybe get some hits off her. Joy has struck out six of the first nine batters she's faced, and the only blemish so far on this game has been a base on balls issued to Duet. Yeah, she's pitching well today. She's making the Red Hawk hitters work, no doubt about it. Ball low. High. And outside. Ball two. Going back to Dinkevitz's first at bat, too. She made uh, Joy work in that bat as well, so hopefully it pays off for her here. Just on the outside corner for a strike. Yeah, good pitch there. Which Red Hawk will be the first to break Joy's hitless streak, which is now spanned into two games. Not something you often see. And strike three, so she strikes out the side. Seven Ks on the game, three up and three down for the wave. We go to the top of the fourth. Greenfield five, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk uh, Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So we head to the top of the fourth. So far, all Greenfield on the scoreboard. Wave five, Red Hawks nothing. Hawks have not gotten a hit in this game. They've been struck out by Olivia Joy seven times. And the wave, meanwhile, has uh, has really opened it up here. Back to the top of the order, it's Provost. She was hit by a pitcher first time up, and she doubled her last time up. Got to feel, uh, you start to feel you need to shut down that ending here if you're the Red Hawks and uh, get some hits because it looks like it's going to be a tough day to get some off Joy. So it'll be Provost, Bresciano, and Samantha Smith for the wave. Right, <laughs> Business and usual, as usual, for the 15 and 1 Green Wave. Shut them down. Shut them down. There also looks like a couple of scouts here from the Turner's Falls Thunder. The new Thunder. No longer the Indians, now the Thunder. That controversy has not died down easily. Not unlike the Red Hot controversy of years ago. Ball one in the dirt as Provo skips away. Very nearly got beamed again. Yeah, it looks like she's uh, standing pretty close to the plate and trying to protect that outside of the corner. Strike one. One and one. I think McDonald has pitched pretty well. She's just been hit hard by a very, very good Greenfield offense. Yeah, overall, she's kept the ball low and made the Greenfield hitters off balance, and you can't really ask for more from the pitcher. Two and one. The count to Provost. Strike at the letters. Evens the count at two and two. Oh, 
fouled back. So Provo stays alive. Keeps the count at two and two. Every time I'm like... Hop up. Short left field. And coming on to make the play is Patterson. One away. Four. The wave. That'll bring up Bresciano. Bresciano sacrificed and was struck out. So she's 0 for 2. 0 for 1, actually, technically. Strike 1 on the inside corner. So Audrey Bresciano. High ball one. One and one. Strike two as Bresciano is out in front of that one. So one and two to Audrey. Yeah, it looks like uh, McDonald went to the off-speed stuff there and caught her off balance. Pop up out of play. Wins by the batting cage. So Bresciano stays alive, one and two. Foul tip. Just outside. Two and two. That's a good two strike touch there. Makes sure it's a different ball. That looked like a good pitch, but just a bit outside. Two and two to Bresciano. Strike three. Out in front of it. And that's the fourth strikeout of the game for McDonald. So two gone. That brings up Samantha Smith, a shortstop. She is two for two. Two singles, and she scored a run today. Low ball one. Yeah, it'd be nice for the Red Hawks here if they could get Smith out, have a one, two, three inning, and go back to the dugout in here. Foul tip. One and one. Well, this will be the first time tonight, if she can pull it off, that the wave has been sent down in order. Pop up. Out of play. One and two, the count to Sam Smith. Smith gets on. Richardson is up next. He was two for two with a home runner last time up. Yeah, these three, four hitters for Greenfield, they're having a really good day today. I think the odds are better if you parked in the same location. Because if you move it, the odds are changing. Looking for a game ball. There we go. Yeah, there's been a lot of foul balls in this one. Fly ball to left. And Patterson right there. Close it in. It's a 1 2 3 inning for McDonald of the Red Hawks. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 3 to 5, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawks Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Patterson, Doulette, and Jarvis, the hitters up, do up for the Frontier Red Hawks. As the Hawks looking for their first hit and first run of the day, as Olivia Joy has been quite good. Seven strikeouts in this game. Patterson, her last time up, struck out. Yeah, with two, three, four up for the Red Hawks here. You hope, uh, if you're a Red Hawk fan, we can uh, apply some pressure here. And uh, maybe got a couple runs off Joy here and cut away at the lead. Patterson at the plate. Swinging first pitch. Fouls it back. 0-1. High 
High ball one. One and one's a count. Again, strike three. Kenzie Patterson down on strikes. That's the eighth strikeout for Joy. Second K on the night for Patterson. That brings up Doulette, who's the only Frontier player to actually reach base. She reached on a base on balls her first time up. Yeah, Frontier could really use another base runner here. It seems like Joy's really starting to settle in and pitch with that swagger. Strike one at the knees. High and inside. That evens the count at one and one. That was a good take there. High ball two. Two and one. So Doulette's ahead of the count on Joy, which is a rare place to be in this game. Yeah, hopefully she can uh, take advantage here. High ball three. Three and one. Swing and a miss. That evens the count at three balls and two strikes. Yeah, Joyce starting to battle back here on this at bat. Base on bar. So Doulette walks for the second time. And that's the first batter in the last five that hasn't struck out. So Doulette's on first. And that brings up Kelly Jarvis, the catcher, who struck out her last time up. And now the umpires are coming out. Not sure what the discussion is. Okay. Well, whatever the discussion was, it's over, and we're going to resume playing softball here. Kelly Jarvis. Delay it first. Courtesy of the walk. Strike the knees. 0-1. Oh and Jarvis fakes at the bunt. Just outside. 1-1. One and one. Looks like the Red Hawks are going to try to play some small ball here off Joy. Haven't been uh, successful swinging the bat yet, so try to bunt her over and sacrifice. High and outside, two and one. Jarvis gets the sign from a third base coach. Ball is low. Three and one now. on balls for Jarvis. So, Frontier for the first time in this game has two aboard. And that brings up the first baseman, Ava Harper. Man, this would be a good time for Red Hawk first hit of the game. Yes, it would. Harper struck out her first time up. Wow, 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 
So the Hawks in the bottom of the fourth here with a bit of a rally. Outside, ball one. It appears Joy's having some control problems here. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet today. No, we haven't. Seems like, seems like she's not happy with herself right now. She slams the ball into the net. And fouled up and out of play. That evens the count at one and one. Swing and a miss, one and two. Can Joy pitch out of this jam she's in? Two consecutive walks. Red Hawks have two base runners. Did she go? Strike three. Yeah, Harper tried to check the swing, but nothing doing there. And that will bring up the DH, Brianna Walker, with two outs and two on. Yeah. Walker was a strikeout victim her first time up. But Joy seems like uh, she settled right back down into where she was before those two walks. Strike one. That was a foul tip. Caught by Howland. 0-1 now to Ariana. If Walker gets aboard, Crocker is the next hitter. Way high. One and one. Joy definitely likes to pitch the ball up in the zone, it seems, here today. It looks like she's trying to get some of these hitters to chase, and a couple times it's, ha it's worked, but... Strike two. And Joy's just uh, one pitch away from getting herself out of this jam she put herself into. Ball high. So Walker hanging in. Again, that, even, that actually brings up the full count with two out. Runners at first and second for Frontier. Just inside, so Walker is on board. So just like that, the bases are loaded for Frontier. And Maddie Crocker is going to be the hitter. Crocker ground out to third. Her first time up, and that will bring a visit to the mound. Once again, there, there have there, Olivia Joy and the Green, Green Wave have not allowed a hit in this game. Yeah, but they now have bases loaded. The Hawks do. Greenfield's been in control this entire game, but one swing of the bat could make this a whole new ball game. Absolutely. If, actually, it looks like we have a pinch hitter coming up. Uh, looks like Maddie Fifield. Maddie Fifield is going to be a pinch hitter. So Fifield will hit for Crocker. So Maddie Fifield. Sage is set. It's a big situation. Runners on all bases for the Red Hawks and Fifield. Will have a chance to possibly break this game open a bit for Frontier. Yeah, you got to feel like this is a big ha uh, bat here. Either way it goes, it could be a big point in this game. Round ball to first, and they play it over to the covering second baseman, and that is the end of the rally. 
So Fifield grounds out three to four, and that ends the rally. So the Hawks leave three on base. We go to the top of the fifth. It's still Greenfield five, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So we have a defensive change for Frontier. Matty Fifield, who pinch hit for Matty Crocker, is now in second base. So Fifield in for Crocker at second. And it'll be Caitlin, Marhefka, and Provost. I'm sorry, excuse me. Richardson, Howland, and Ward. Misread that number. Richardson, of course, two for two with a two-run homer her last time up. Yeah, the Red Hawks uh, held Greenfield to a 1-2-3 inning last time, so hopefully they can do that here. And uh, they put some pressure on Joy, didn't convert, but they get the bats swinging again next half inning and get a couple runs across the plate. That would be uh, good for them, put them in a good position going to the 6th or 7th. Yeah, Greenfield still has not allowed a hit, but in that last inning there were three walks, which is unusual for Olivia Joy. McDonald now, ready to deal against Richardson. Strike at the knees, 0-1. Richardson's last at bat. She had a homer that got out of here in a hurry. Line shot over the left field fence. Yeah, it seems like she's got some pretty good power. That pitch in the dirt, one and one. Foul back. That makes the count one and two. Ball low, it evens the count at two and two. And base hit to center field. So that is three hits now for Richardson. She is three for three, two singles and a homer. And that will bring up Howland, the catcher. Lizzie walked her first time up and singled and scored her last time up. Foul back. 0-1. Just missed it. 0-1 to Howland. Richardson is the runner at first. On deck is Kirsten Ward. Pick off throw at first and back sliding is Richardson. That was closer than I thought it was. Yeah. Uh, you got to keep the runners on. It's taking the throw down there. I think it's a good idea. Keep it closer at first base. You don't often see pickoff moves that quick. Good attempt there by Jarvis. Fly ball. And that's going to drop just out of the reach of the second baseman. Sliding into second is Richardson. So that's going to be a, a gork, as they say. A little bit of a fly ball with eyes. And just out of the reach of Fifield. Yeah, there's not much room between the infield and the outfield here, and that ball just fell in. Runners at first and second now. And the pinch hitter, it looks like, for Ward. I have to get the number. That would be Gianna Cody, I believe, if that is 28. Now well, ball to short. Forced play at second. Gets the runner Howland. Richardson advances to third. 
So Howland cut down on a fielder's choice. I think that was the right choice there to go to second because I think it would have been a tough play to throw that ball across the diamond and get her out at first. So Cody advances on the fielder's choice. And has one out. Runners at the corners now. And Reagan Hickey, the second baseman. It's inside. Ball high and outside. Richardson, the runner at third. And Cody on at first. Line drive, knocked down by the shortstop. And over to second base and gets the force out at second. So Cody is out. Good play there from uh, Kenny Aston of the Red Hawks, the shortstop. Knock that ball down and have the wherewithal is to throw it to second. Get the, get the force out. So two gone. And it's Caitlin at the plate. And taking second base is Reagan Hickey. So Hickey now on. Second and third. Two outs. And Caitlin at the plate. Strike. Swing on a high one. Ground ball up the middle. Play field. Over to first. Nice play, and that retires the side. So the wave threatens, but they leave two on. And it's the Heading into the bottom of the fifth inning, it's still Greenfield 5 and Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Touch. It'll be Lauren McDonald, Emma Wesolowski, and Natty Denkovich, the three for the Frontier Red Hawks, to face Olivia Joy, who has pitched well, but last inning yielded three consecutive walks to load the bases. Greenfield got out of that jam, but uh, she's shown some issues with her control, at least in the last inning, Doug, and maybe this is uh, an opportunity for the Red Hawks to maybe do some damage here, take advantage of it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, if the Red Hawks can get some hits, she's probably going to get a little frustrated and with her control being a little uh, shaky at times here of late. With that and frustration, the Red Hawks can get some good pitches to hit and uh, cut away at this Greenfield lead. Joy has eight strikeouts in this game, but she also has yielded three walks. McDonald the batter. Strike at the letters. 0-1. Oh Strike two. Swinging, so quick 0-2 oh to McDonald. Stat side. 1-2 and two the count. Strike three. McDonald is down on strikes. Second time in this game. That brings up Emma Wesolowski. Emma struck out her last time up. Of course, Emma's tried to get on with that slap, slap hit the last time and ended up whiffing. Let's see if uh, she tries to slap it again here. Yep, swinging bunt almost, and that goes foul. Owen one. Bresciano is in tight at third, and Smith playing over farther in the hole for Greenfield. Going to accommodate that slap if she gets a hold of him. And again, another swinging butt foul. So quick going two to Wesolowski, the right fielder. Almost seems like Joy has too much too much velocity on that pitch for her to be able to get around for that slap. Yeah, I agree. It's just getting a little by her before she puts the bat in the ball. And again. That looked almost like a bunt, but they're not going to say it was a, a swing. Although typically that a bunt on two strikes usually means an out, but the rest going to give it to her. 
as a swing. So all in two. Again, same situation, slap foul. the pitcher. So that'll bring up Denkovic with two down. So that's a fly out to the pitcher, Joy. Denkovic has grounded out to third and struck out in this one. High ball one. Seems for the most part here in uh, this inning, Joy settled down. Yeah, she, didn't, she looked kind of ragged in that last thing, but frontier batters are making her work. Strike on the inside corner, one and one. Side, two and one. Swing and a miss. Evens the count at two and two. Fly ball, center field, and getting a hand on it with Smith, but it falls through, and that's probably going to be ruled a hit, I would think. Yeah, I think you got to give her a hit there. She had to go a long ways to even get a glove on that ball and made a good effort, but I think I would score that as a hit there for the Red Hawks. That is the first hit Olivia Dean has yielded in 11 innings. So Nat Denkowitz is at second base in the scoring position. That brings up Kenzie Patterson. Smith did everything she could to get to that ball, but just popped out of her glove. Uh, good effort from Smith there. We'll see if they have scored officially as an error, but I, I'm scoring it as a hit at this point. High for a ball. That's the first ball that Frontier has hit out of the infield in this game. Yeah, Joy's been pitching well. Foul back. Ella Dean right now is warming up behind us. It's possible she will come in to pitch in this next inning. Kenzie Patterson caught looking, and that is strike three, and that retires the side. But Frontier, it appears, breaks the hitless streak. Dinkovich with double to center. And going out at the top of the sixth, it's still Greenfield five, and Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk softball, and Frontier for the access coach. So we go now to the top of the sixth, and uh, Greenfield hanging on to a five nothing lead. And it looks like Laura McDonald will at least start this inning. It'll be Hickey, Caitlin, and Marhefka. The three up for, excuse me, I'm sorry. It'll be uh, wait a second. I think we have a pinch hitter here. Let's see who they're bringing in. Nikki Miner is going to be the hitter for Greenfield. So Nikki Miner is in, looks like, from our Hefka. Strike down the middle to Miner. 
Minor Provost and Bresciano are the scheduled hitters for Greenfield. Inside, one and one. Strike two out in front of that one. That was a nice little changeup. Yeah, caught her off balance there. One and two. Ground ball to short. Double up, throw to first. Nice dig out by Harper. So that was. Do let actually no, that was uh, excuse me. Six to three on the put out. Nice dig out by the first baseman, Harper. And so, fly ball to center field. This is going to make the fence. Provost digging for second, and she'll in with a stand up double. So, Provost, her second double of the game. And she is on at second. And the batter will be Audrey Bresciano. Yeah, good hitting there uh, from Provost, taking that right back up the middle. Looks like we might have an injury. Nat Denkovich looked like she pulled up in pursuit of that ball, but she's going to stay in there. Well, she twisted an ankle or what, but she will stay in. So Provost is on. Bresciano, the batter. Bresciano sacrificed and struck out twice in this game. Fouls the first one off, 0 1. Fly ball to left. Under it's Patterson. And she puts it away. And that is two outs. And that brings up Smith. Sam has singled twice and scored a run in this game. And flat out to left field. So she is two for three. Strike one. She took a big cut at that one and uh, just missed it. She gets on Richardson, who is three for three, will be up. Pop up is not playable. It's the top of the dugout. Two strikes on Smith. Strike three. So Smith strikes out for the first time. And Greenfield leaves one runner on. Go to the bottom of the sixth. Still Greenfield five Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go now to the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be Dulette, Jarvis, and Harper, I believe, the batters for the Red Hawks, who are running out of time. They got six outs left to... Put something together offensively is uh, try to put a dent in Olivia Joy, who we believe gave up her first hit in two games in the last inning. Dulette has reached twice on walks in this game. Yeah, she's probably been a Frontier's most successful hitter today. Got as far as third base. Outside, ball one. High ball, two. Two and oh. The Dulets had a great eye against Joy today. 
Yeah, she's really making her work today. Strike at the letters. Makes it count two and one. Duet leads the Red Hawks on home runs, but she seems she's also one of Frontier's most patient hitters. You don't see a hitter with a lot of power be that patient very often. And she's definitely been patient today, you're right. High ball three, three and one. And she walks again so for the third time this game. Dulette is on base, thanks to base on balls. That brings up Kelly Jarvis. Jarvis has struck out and walked in this game, got as far as second the last time up. Strike on the inside corner, 0-1. Yeah. Round ball to first. They go to second for the force. And they're going to say she was out. I'm not sure the Frontier coaching staff agrees with that call, but... So Jarvis reaches on a fielder's choice, and Doulette is retired. That brings up Ava Harper. Harper has struck out twice today. Now looks like we have a courtesy runner in. Running for Har er, Jarvis is Spencer. High outside. I think it's a good idea when you can to give your uh, catcher a break. A lot of spawning down behind the plate. Oh, yeah. That is Lily Spencer at first. Swing and a miss. Makes the count one and one. back. Makes the count one and two. Strike three outside corner. Caught Harper looking. Two gone and that brings up Brianna Walker, the DH. Walker has struck out and walked in this game today. Foul back. 0-1. for a ball. Looks like Spencer wants to run if given the opportunity, but... Yeah, maybe she's waiting for a wild pitch to get to the backstop, but Joy hasn't uh, showed us any of that today, so we'll see if that happens. High for a ball again. Two and one to Walker. Wood's starting to pick up here. And there you go. There's your pass ball, Doug. And down to second. Go Spencer. Put uh, pressure on the pitcher when you run the bases and take leads off. And it looks like a pretty ball here for the Red Hawks as uh, Spencer's now got down to second. Three to one. Spencer at second. 
And Walker fouls that one off. Got jammed. Two payoff pitch and a short grounder. Christiana to first, and she beat it out. Great speed down the line by Ariana Walker. So an infield hit for Walker, and that moves Spencer over to third. So runners at the corners for Maddie Feifeld. So Maddie with a chance here to play the runner if she can get the ball out of the infield. High ball one. Walker takes second. So now runners, two runners in scoring position. As Walker is at second. And Spencer, the courtesy runner for Jarvis, is at third. And Maddie Fifield with a chance here to get the Hawks on the board. Two outs, two on. And a frozen rope to right, caught. Nice play in right field. That one was struck. Miner pulls it in, and that retires the side. So the Hawks leave two on. And we go to the top of the seventh, still Greenfield five, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So it'll be Richardson, Howland, and Cody, the three up for Greenfield, the top of the seventh. The wave leads five zip. So McDonald would love to hold them here and see if the Hawks can pull off a miracle here in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, five runs is even pushing it, but you feel if uh, the way Joy's pitching, they're getting even a bigger lead here for the green wave. Uh, the Red Hawks' chances just get slimmer and slimmer. Richardson is three for three, two singles and a two-run homer. She is perfect on the day. An extended discussion on the mound by the Red Hawks. So Richardson, first baseman, not at all today offensively. McDonald, and Richardson pokes this one to right, and that's going to fall in for a hit. So she is four for four, and she's got a double, and she's only a triple away for the cycle. So Richardson is on board with a, one, a no out double for Greenfield. What a game she has had. She looks so confident at the plate. It really looks like she's tracking the ball well onto the bat. And we have a pinch hitter, Lexi Rowell. Pinch hitting for Howland. One and one. Rowell, the lefty. Just outside, two and one. Way out ahead of that one. It evens the count at two balls, two strikes. High. Three balls and two strikes. <coughs> Richardson again at second, courtesy of the double. Foul ball. Back behind the frontier dugout. So 
Rowell stays alive. Yeah, Rowell has come off the bench and really battled here in the first A-B of the game. Rowell up the middle, base hit. So Lexi Rowell with a pinch hit single. That advances Richardson to third. So runners at the corners, nobody out. And another pinch hitter coming to the plate. This is Christina Reed. Reed batting for Hickey. And that may be it for McDonald. Runners at the corners, nobody out for the wave. Umpire B.J. Guerin coming out to break up the, con uh, the conference. Looks like we uh, saw Dean warming up earlier, but she hasn't been in the bullpen at all as of late, so I think uh, this is McDonald's game to finish out yeah. here for the Red Hawks. She may have just been getting some work in, but so McDonald's going to stay in there. And the batter is Christina Reed, pinch hitting for... Hickey. Strike one. Low ball one. One and one. Don't know if Rowell is a threat to try and take second or not, but so far she hasn't hinted that way. No, it looks like she's staying pretty close to the bag. Strike. Again, way out in front of that changeup was Reed. Let's see if uh, McDonald's sticks with that changeup here or switches the fastball. Base hit Reed into the gap. That's going to score Richardson. And so Reed. So three straight hits for Greenfield. Raul advances to second, reads it first. And now I think we might see a pitching change. 6 nothing Greenfield. McDonald is going to leave the game. And that'll bring in Ella Dean to pitch for Frontier. So... Tough, tough performance. Well, actually, a good performance, but a tough luck performance as she just ran into a buzzsaw in terms of the uh, offense of the Greenfield Green Wave. Yeah, Greenfield's got a deep lineup, and you feel when you're pitching up against Joy, you can't let up that many runs, and that can put some pressure on you. And Greenfield got a few across the board, and just Greenfield's playing well to that. So, Ella Dean. Oh, I'm sorry, Olivia Dean. Excuse me, Olivia Dean. Apologize. It's not a mistake you want to make. Olivia Dean. I don't know how many times we made that mistake during basketball season, too. So Olivia is in there. I should have noticed by the long hair. So, so the batter will be Hickey. Runners are first and second. Olivia Dean on the mound for the Red Hawks. And the pass, the pitch goes to the backstop, and the runners will advance. So Raul moves into third. So that will be a wild pitch, so now runners in scoring position. Well, 
Brown ball at the middle, base hit, Rowell will score. And holding at third is Reed. So Hickey is on with a single. Runners at the corners, and that makes it seven zip. So Greenfield blowing it open here, late going. This is Caitlin, the designated player. That is four consecutive hits in this inning. Low ball one. With Hickey's speed at first over there, let's see if she tries to take a second, especially with the runner on third. I don't think the Red Hawks will probably throw it down to second. Probably not. Low ball two. ball is short. Over to second for the force. Run will score. So Hickey is retired at second. And Caitlin reaches on a fielder's choice. So that makes it 7 nothing. Actually, it makes it 8 nothing. excuse me. 8-zip, Greenfield. And the batter is going to be Marhefka. Hannah Marhefka. Swing and a miss. Ball gets by the catcher and down to second. Goes Caitlin. Looks like Dean is really working down in the zone here. Keeping the ball really low and a couple of too low. They've uh, hit the third before they got to the catcher. High ball one. So eight nothing Greenfield. They've scored three in this inning. Round ball to first. And play it. Oh, and the ball's going to get through. <laughs> And scoring on throwing error is Caitlin. So out at first. And that makes it 9 nothing. And there are now two outs. Bases are clear. And the batter is Provost. Ball low. Raquel Provost has doubled twice in this game and scored a run. Fly ball, short right field, and pulling it in was Fightfield to retire the side. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and the Greenfield Green Wave lead by a score of nine to nothing. Last ups for the Red Hawks. This is Red Hawks softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Last ups for the Frontier Red Hawks here in the bottom of the seventh inning as it looks like Olivia Dean is going to lead off, batting in the spot previously occupied by the starting pitcher, Lauren McDonald. McDonald, Wesolowski, and Denkowicz, the three scheduled hitters for Frontier. And Dean's going to finish this one out. High ball one. High ball two, almost the same spot. Strike one on the outside corner. Fouled off. Two strikes now on Olivia Dean. The pitcher of record now for the Frontier Red Hawks. Fly wall to right. And 
gets put away for out number one. Looks when, like even on a warm day like this, Joyce Velocity still there towards the end of the game. Absolutely. That's going to bring out Emma Wesolowski. And she has struck out and flat out to the pitcher. High ball one. Okay, she's still popping that mitt, even though this is the seventh inning. She's still got a lot of uh, gas in the tank, it seems. Yeah, she's really getting it up there, miles per hour. Low ball two. Now, I believe Wesolowski batted lefty her first two. She did. Uh, batters appearances, but now it looks like she switched over to right hand and more conventional swing away, not trying to slap it and run. 2 0. Grab ball to first, gobbled up, and two down. So that'll leave it up to Denkowitz. Denkowitz doubled, broke. Dean's no-hit streak last time up. Strike one. 0-1. Oh one. Strike two right down the middle. So the Hawks down to their last strike. Round ball to third. Actually the short. Smith not going to make a play. That's going to be an infield hit. So Denkowitz is two for four in this game with an infield hit. Now we'll bring up Kenzie Patterson to see if she can keep this thing alive. Patterson has struck out three times in this game. Strike one. Hit off the glove. That one was smoked. And that's going to be a hit for Patterson. Right off the glove of the third baseman, Bresciano. So now, suddenly, the Red Hawks have two runners on. And Doulette is the hitter. Doulette has walked three times in this game. Advanced as far as third. Inside ball one. Inside ball two, two and oh. Denkowitz at second, Patterson at first, and Doulette at the plate. Two down for the Red Hawks. Two out rally here. Strike on the inside corner. Two and one. Strike two. Same spot right on the inside corner. So once again the Hawks down to their last strike. You think Joy would like to strike her out much after she's walked her three times? Yeah, I think that would be a good end note for her. High ball three. Vote count three and two, two outs. The runners will likely be off. And she walks again. Fourth walk of this game. Everybody advances, so the bases are now loaded. Yes, yes. 
for Kelly Jarvis. Actually, wait a second. We may have a pinch hitter here. Let's see. We do have a pinch hitter. And the pinch hitter is number 10, Lily Spencer. So Spencer, with the bases loaded, with an opportunity here. Strike one on Spencer. Foul back, strike two. Foul back again, so Spencer stays alive. It's not like the Frontier Boys won, a lot of cheering over there. I think they were uh, playing Amherst, I believe. Yep. 0-2 oh, to Spencer. Runners on all bases for Frontier. Strike three. And that is the ball game. So Spencer goes down on strikes. And Greenfield comes away with a big 9-0 win as Frontier leaves them loaded to end this one. Olivia Joy, 12 strikeouts, the story of this game. Although, you know, Frontier uh, did knock her around a little bit, Doug, but uh, the end of the, end of the line met uh, Greenfield on top again as they moved to 16-1. and one. Yeah, no doubt about it. Joy was the difference in today's game. She pitched really well. As you said, 12 strikeouts. That's pretty impressive in seven innings work. So Greenfield moves on. So do the Red Hawks as uh, the Red Hawks uh, will continue their march toward the playoffs. Greenfield, of course, uh, definitely going to be there as well. So we'll see if we can't uh, see the Red Hawks one more time before they actually go to the postseason. But that'll do it for our coverage of Frontier Red Hawks softball for my broadcast partner, Doug Kineski, for Alec Echo, the executive producer of Frontier Sports. Kevin Murphy, the final score, Greenfield 9, Frontier nothing. Thanks for watching and so long on Frontier Community Access Television.